28th of November 2012, the Minister for Financial Services and Superannuation revealed details of the Australian Financial Service Licence that replaces the accountant's SMSF advice exemption. Um, we're all wondering just what impact that will have on the way that we do business with our self-managed superannuation clients. Um, here at Excel Super, we've operated under an Australian Financial Service Licence for the establishment and generic technical and strategic advice components of self-managed superannuation already. So I guess we have a little bit of an insight into how this will work after uh, we're all required to operate under an Australian Financial Services Licence. I think there is a misunderstanding out there about what the what an exempt license means. I think a lot of people are under the misapprehension that they'll be able to continue to just do things the way that they do now. But Treasury has made it very clear that any account that adopts an Australian Financial Services license, albeit a limited one, will be required to do all the things under corporations law that is required from a compliance point of view. And that means providing statements of advice when establishing a self-managed super fund, providing statements of advice when it comes to making recommendations for contributing to superannuation or commencing a pension, and providing records of advice and certain advice documentation in regard to class of product advice. What this new licensing regime does is shifts the line uh, from um, when you're making a recommendation about a specific product back to when you're establishing a self-managed super fund or giving more strategic and technical advice components such as pension strategies, structural advice, etc. Uh, specifically, the, the, the legislation that relates to this is Section 947D of the Corporations Law, which says that you must provide your clients with disclosures, comparisons and alternative strategies in the form of a statement of advice. You also have to uh, satisfy Section 961B of Corporations Law, which talks about documenting clients' objectives, personal circumstances and demonstrating a reasonable basis for your recommendations. And this is usually done in the form of a financial needs analysis. In addition, you'll need to provide financial services guides. Um, you'll need to have records of advice, document the advice that you give that's subject to your Australian Financial Services licence um, in a separate file that you keep specifically for the advice documents, separate to the client's tax file. I think the legislation makes it virtually impossible to provide clients with SMS administration and annual returns work without, without inadvertently giving some various forms of advice which will now be subject to, um, to the requirements of an Australian Financial Service Licence. So in plain English, what does that mean? I think it's going to be very difficult to continue to do what we do without a licence. The first option is to just move out of the self-managed supermarket and sell your SMSF fees. You know, accountants have done a magnificent job over the years of, of providing advice and, and really delivering services to the self-managed superannuation community and certainly that was recognised by the Cooper Review. But I think there will be some accountants who simply decide that they don't want to operate under an Australian Financial Service Licence and they'll choose to release the value that they have locked within their self-managed superannuation client bases. I know there are organisations who are looking to buy self-managed superannuation administration fees. I know AMP is one of them. Certainly we at Excel Super have been very active in purchasing accountants SMSF work for up to 1.1 times revenue. I think the second choice 
will be to do what many accountants have already done, and that is partner with a financial advisor who's already licensed to provide advice. So a lot of accountants who already have relationships with financial advisors will use that relationship to provide these advice components in the future. As we know, self-managed super is a very specialised and technical area of advice, and I think financial advisors uh, need to uh, upskill and make sure that they are properly qualified to provide the kinds of advice that accountants have been providing. Um, my personal view is that if you're an accountant looking to partner with a financial advisor uh, for your self-managed superannuation work, then you should choose a financial advisor that is at least SPA SSA accredited or demonstrates that they've got real technical skills in regard to the self-managed super area. I think the accounting lobby group has done a great job in winning some uh, concessions for accountants who want to apply for a limited Australian financial services licence. Um, and certainly that is, that is one of the choices that accountants can make and apply directly to ASIC for a licence and operate under the AFSL regime. I think a lot of accountants though, it's, it, you know, we're finally starting to understand what the, the implications of operating under that regime are and satisfying 961B of the corporation's law and 947D of the corporation's law are onerous um, and require significant infrastructure and, a and significant investment in your business to be able to uh, comply with the requirements of corpse law. Um, but those are choices that everybody will uh, consider um, and certainly we at Excel Super are willing to have conversations with accountants and talk through what the, what the implications of those choices are. Mm -hmm.